All right, another Comic Con trailer here for you. We're going through Boo. them all. <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> Joe's not excited about this. It is the extended House of Dragon. Game of Thrones is back. Let's let's ruin it let's again. Snore. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it'll impress us. Okay, let's see. Um, let me just say up front, I don't give a fuck about Game of Thrones anymore. I have never in my life seen a series that I have been so excited about, so into the armies and the different factions in the world and the mythos. And, and I bought board games and I bought miniatures. And then we had the last two seasons of the goddamn HBO series. See, even the fucking computers, like, I hear you, bro. Let's <laughs> fucking shut that shit it down it was awful and i never wanted to engage with it again i'm not re i haven't rewatched the series as i thought i might i haven't even wanted to force these guys to play the board game that i bought you know it's just it's what a colossal disappointment and disaster and there really hasn't been a disappointment like that since you know disney star wars sequels so but even then we're going back and watching more star wars shit so right even then like, this was worse because i don't yes. want to watch this shit exactly so here's hbo basically saying we're sorry will you come we're back sorry. here we go He's changed three <laughs> two one go i'll turn this up can you hear it the tree I might have to turn it down for you. I heard the sound of thundering hooves. Okay. Splintering shields and ringing swords. House Targaryen. We got the Targaryens fighting. The heir. So these are previous Targaryen kings. We're going to get more dragons in this. House of Dragons, right? I heard up to 17... Dragons? Seventeen new dragons added. No one is vulnerable. Too easily ended. Our line is vulnerable, so start having sex with your cousins and your brothers and your sisters, I guess. That's what they did. Damon Targaryen. I will not be made to choose. Matt Damon. <laughs> I love Matt Smith, but he looks fucking terrible in that party city wig. He does! Oh, man. And was that a bl black Targaryen? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought they were all the pale. Oh, that they are. But they they said they didn't want you are looking you at a bunch of white people the entire time. What? No. That's what they said. I have decided to name a new heir. I'm your heir. That's Targaryen. That's the Targaryen. Why do you want to make a series about the Targaryens and then... Okay, whatever. Yes, you're right. We're redoing that. Okay. Oh, Men will not yeah. accept women in ruling. Because that is the order of things. That's the order of things. Men will never accept you. It's like. I mean, yes, that is historically accurate, and that's accurate for, uh, you know, the lore here. But we had a whole story about that already. Dragon eggs! Oh, that. I don't know if that looked very good in the CGI. Our new Daenerys. <laughs> Daenerys 2.0. And she will go mad too, maybe? The bells. If she hears bells, if she, she hears has bells, to go she'll go mad. And, and that justifies uh, Daenerys going crazy because she went crazy <laughs> in the prequel. See, it makes sense now. Uh, I gotta look at this house of dragon. Uh, okay, August twenty. Oh my god, that's right around the corner. There's a shit. lot of shit coming up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you guys think of just that trailer? See, you're just waiting to see where they're gonna fuck it up. Oh, I mean, for me, it's just like, and the crowd went mild. <laughs> like I can't. I, I've never been so meh. About something. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to be looking at this so much more closely than yeah, any other exactly. TV show. And it's not the, the these these people, the actors, the writers. It's not their fault. 
No. But you made a Game of Thrones thing. The last thing that I watched of Game of Thrones was fucking awful. And so that's the flavor left in my mouth and my about, the, about things. Some of the characters look fucking awkward. None of the fights in here were incredibly exciting. Matt Stone, man. Oh, uh, <laughs> he looks Matt, weird. Matt Smith. Matt Smith, Matt Smith yeah, not Stone. Yeah, that, the Party City wig that he's wearing and so many other people are wearing. It just... I don't know. Some of the CG doesn't look particularly good. Now, see, when you cover him up with a helmet here, that looks good. Oh, yeah. That looks fucking sweet. We well, can actually. cut you with I those cheekbones through that helmet, yeah. but then when he's then, wearing that, that fucking wig, it's yeah, just like, oh, is, oh, no, uh, bro, no. He looks it's like, like young, he's from... Uh, dude, where'd your eyebrows go? An elf go? from Lord of the nah, Rings. He looks but, but like his eyebrows young, are gone. Uh, look. Vigo. Yeah, why you shave your eyebrow, bro? He's Vigo. Vigo. Yeah. <laughs> Don't touch the Vigo. <laughs> Don't touch me. Everything you are doing is bad. Okay, so I wanted to d- address this. You said that they made them black because there's a they're tired of looking at white people. They, or they said that they didn't want uh, mm-hmm. the audience looking at nothing but white people. So apparently, this character is Corals Valerion. Valeron. Yeah. Uh, maybe, uh, th- but it makes sense. It doesn't contradict George R. R. Martin's works. So apparently, it's f- it's like that in the story. Uh, I, 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 I don't I, I, know. I don't know. But even if it is like that in the story, I don't know why the um, showrunners would say something so insulting. Because it's like you're doing a show about a bunch of white people, and then you're like, we don't want to look at white people all day. <laughs> it's like, okay. Well, it's it's almost like George R. R. Martin developed a giant and very diverse world filled with people of all shapes and colors. And you could have just included them from different areas. And it, other than, you know, the family that wants, it's all about like purity within the bloodline. And the, like, the, this family's yes. fucking gross. Like they're constantly fucking each other because they want to keep yeah. everything pure. And it's yeah. just like, all right, well, I So, guess. and what some have claimed is the biggest gotcha of the discussion around House of Dragons casting, uh, he is uh, not black in any of the books in which he's mentioned, including Fire and Blood. But at the same time, he's also not not black, says this writer. Simply put, uh, Coral's skin cover is never described on page, meaning there's no reason he can't be portrayed by a black man. And yes, he is of Valerian descent. And yes, they are largely known for their <laughs> pale skin as well as silver hair and violet eyes. The latter two he does have because he's got the, the hair and the eyes. Um, they never But mentioned- there's no definitive there, nothing to claim all. So... Fine. You know, if, if that's that's the initiative of we want to put some diversity in here. Like, and well, this character, said... I went through all the books to say that they never said that other than the descent being that they're all inbreeding and they're all pale skinned in one description. They never said that Ned Stark didn't have a belching anus on his forehead. They never said that. And right, cause so he could have had a. They, well, you a can't prove that they never did season. that. It's like, come the fuck on. You know, I I don't think I'm that bothered. I don't think I'm that bothered by no, it since I, I didn't care. give a fuck about you know the Valerians or the Targaryens or whatever. I don't care about that particular character. Um, but it's just how the showrunners talk about it, and and that that makes it a little concerning to yeah. me. Uh, because it's a whole series about the pale skin uh, Targaryens, and you're basically saying, well, we don't want to look at them. The Eagle. Time. So this just looks <laughs> awful, man. This is hilarious. Where's his it's eyebrows? Not, it's not his fault, but he just looks funny. And at any moment, I think he's going to break out that. The, oh no! It's gonna be Morbin. <laughs> Morbin time. Sex. You want to have oh, no. sex? You want to have sex? Now I also read that this series will have a lot less sex. What? That is ridiculous. Did you not see the greatest movie of all time where he was in it? <laughs> it's moving to us. It's sex time. So, I don't know. Yeah, I'm with you guys. And there's the uh, Iron Throne with the, the, I guess, melted sword. That just looked like a bad prop, but I know that's yeah, the that, way it actually uh, supposed to It looks to be. like rubber props. Rubber yeah, props. Because but, they are rubber props. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then we do the storyline where the you know nobody is accepting a female on the throne. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, we kind of already saw that and that... Y- and got a lot of that in the original series. We got that with... Um, Maybe they're going to try to fix it a little bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, Queen... Um, the, Cersei or Daenerys? Cersei. Cersei. Yeah, we've seen it with Cersei. We've seen it with Daenerys. And I guess we're going to get some more of this. 
Um, but I think it plays to, and the reason why HBO picks a certain series is because in this time period, we have something for everyone. So the female audience and the audience that, you know, hates the, the, uh, the patriarchy can, can relate with this particular storyline. We're going to have the dragons and we're going to have battles for the dudes and, you know, and then hopefully we're going to have some interesting storylines to tell uh, that, that add context to Game of Thrones in the future. But because I know it leads somewhere shitty, I, I, like all of the wind has been taken out of my sails for any excitement of mm. any of your six spinoff series. Mm. <laughs> like HBO, it, it's it smells of desperation. It smells of... Uh, corporatism and we just need another Game of Thrones to replace the thing that we fucked up you know and it may not have been Game of Thrones fault cause I, or HBO's fault because I do think HBO wanted a ton more seasons those fucking D.B. Weiss yeah. and um, ben, off, ben, ben Off fucked it up and then, so show them this yeah. thing do you think you know this yeah. screen do you think that the mm -hmm. reason that all the elves in the Lord of the Rings series don't have long hair is because these assholes took off all the Party City wigs <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. The Amazon, serve, Amazon's <laughs> new Lord of the Rings series were like, God damn it! All now we have to fucking shave our fucking heads because yeah. HBO came into the, the, the party cities around the L.A. area. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> All right, anyways, yeah. you guys tell us, what are you thinking of House of... Uh, House of Dragons or whatever the fuck it is called. <laughs> yeah. uh, is it gonna be House like of Picard. House of I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know what? I just I love. Okay, so I love dragons. I love medieval. I love uh, yeah. house intrigue. And there is still a chance. We made fun of it. We're, we're talking shit this whole fucking time. But there is a small chance that it could be good enough mm -hmm. to be watchable. Yeah. I don't think it's ever going to reach the heights that Game of Thrones no. was at when we were fucking on stained. board. Yeah. It's, it's just stained now. But it could maybe be worth watching. So we will uh, be reviewing this one and giving you our opinion. But let us know, what did you think of that trailer and have you seen it? And uh, do you agree with us on a lot of this kind of stuff? All right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.